Hey guys, welcome to the studio. Today is a very special day. Today it's not about sitting here making music. I'm done with that. I finished another track. It will be released at the end of the month. It's called Underwater, a collaboration with another producer, singer, songwriter. I just absolutely love it. And to be able to promote that single a little bit better, I was thinking about shooting a music video, but then again, COVID-19, you can't get together, getting permissions, filming outside, all of that is a little weird at the moment. And music videos are expensive. If you're not experienced as me, I've never shot a music video in any kind of way or form. It will take you a lot longer. You will do a lot of mistakes. It will look really bad at the end and just kill two or three of your days. So I thought, why not make something easier? Something a lot of people do at the moment, at least for YouTube, animated lyric videos. You see them everywhere. They're usually done with After Effects and a lot of presets and swirly stuff that like pops in and out. At the beginning, I kind of liked it. It was still better than nothing. But at the moment, I've seen too many of these. It looks very cheap to me. I, I don't want to do something like that again. So I'll try to make today a video, a video that looks animated, isn't animated, something you can do with absolutely no budget. All you need is just your phone to film. I will use this camera because I have it anyways. And a bunch of household things to put everything together. And if everything works out, it should look a little bit or close to this right here. Downing in the feed then can't help but take it farther. I'm breathing underwater. So first up you'll need mirrors. You can pick them up anywhere for like just a couple of bucks. I'm very fortunate. I got some of them laying around. I don't know why. I think the person that owned this place before me just left them in the basement. I'm very happy to recycle them, clean them. They don't have to be like super clean, but these are extremely dusty. So first making sure they look kind of decent. There you go. You just glue three mirrors together and you already get this this kind of effect that makes stuff look animated, expensive, although it isn't. I don't know where I've seen it. I think I picked it up somewhere on Facebook. Um, so I don't really know who to credit for this, but it, it's simple. And then you just put it in front of a lens and start putting other stuff behind it. And the most effective to put behind it is actually any kind of screen. You can use your MacBook, you can use your monitor, you could use a TV, you just like have to raise it up a little and just place everything the right way. So let me set everything up because then the rest is really just about making sure to play the right stuff on the screen and the lights are important. So I'll make sure to make this entire room dark. This right here is the basic setup. You can, of course, extend it. I got more of these. I got a light that I can flash in any kind of color, which will make it more interesting. And for the backgrounds, just try to find something online where you don't have any trouble with the rights. I'm just displaying here some space stuff that always kind of works. And I also got a, a little fog machine. <laughs> it should help. Also, you can make it even more interesting by putting stuff in there. Objects, if you build the mirrors big enough, persons, hands, faces, whatever you like. So far, I'm really happy with the results. It looks way more epic than I thought. I put the mirrors apart a little so light can like shine through, let the light flicker. It looks just really epic. And I think since I got more mirrors, I'll build more of these triangles and try to make it even longer. And maybe also put them on top of each other or maybe some broken mirrors in there and objects in there. Um, 
endless possibilities. Like this makes me so creative, hands on. I absolutely love it. So let's continue. I think it's time to stop <laughs> it's so much fun and like you can vary like where you put the mirrors what you display on the back i now started like burning a table tennis ball in here which looks really really epic but i think that's the point where i should stop because uh, my brain is on fire i have a lot of crazy ideas no matter what you put in there light on fire it just looks cool really good that i don't own a flamethrower and i think just the visuals will be enough to have something that looks animated isn't really animated and you could either put lyrics on top to make it a lyric video just leave it as it is. One thing I would love to improve for the next time is having bigger mirrors so I can actually put a camera slider in there and make the camera slide through this tunnel of glass. I think this would definitely add like having movement in there. And again, I think everyone can do this at home. All you need is really just your phone to film. I mean, no matter what camera you use in there, it just looks epic. A little bit of light. A TV, monitor, display, your MacBook, whatever, to just display stuff. By the way, right now, it's just like the visualizer of um, iTunes. Works really great. Like, it's flashy, it reacts to the music. And I think this right here is by far the cheapest way to make an animated music video that isn't animated. So let me now put all of the footage into my computer, edit it a little, and then just really back to music making. All done with music making. I also kind of checked the, the footage. I'm so far kind of happy with it. I think I need to film a little more and also use less hectic stuff actually to not make the entire video flash throughout. And using objects is something that could make it more interesting because so far it's just like abstract, flashing, mirrored stuff. But if you put objects into that tunnel, you could even start like telling a story, like putting like a, a real big, big spider in there and let it walk and film it, or maybe a hand in there, or I, I don't know, like th there is endless potential for it. And again, if you build the mirrors bigger, you could even walk through and do even crazier stuff. I think like people dancing in it, in big, could be actually like a full real music video if you do it properly. And the only thing lacking is really the movement, but um, I, I think I got an idea how to make stuff actually move and pass by. This setup right here, like aligning them this way could also be an option. And now it's a lot easier to film around it, in front of it, left, right, get some movement into the shots. Do the same thing again with light and fog and like the screen behind it. That's something for another day. I'll keep on shooting, keep on like testing stuff out and then edit it into a full video. It will be shared really soon here on this channel. I hope this right here at least showcased that like with a very, very tiny budget, it's still possible to make something that looks interesting and fits to the music. So if you need any visual stuff for your music, Try it out, it's like really done within a couple of hours. And I have plenty, plenty, plenty of other ideas that could also work on a very small budget coming up soon for, for the next kind of song. Yeah,